hello guys welcome back to the channel and this is our next problem problem number 467b the problem link is slash problem slash 467 slash b so the problem name is fedora and new game the problem read as after you had helped george and alex to move in the dorm they went there to help their friend fedora play a new computer game call of soldiers 3 the game has m plus one players so the first information that we get here is that the game has n plus one players. Okay, just the second. M plus one players. Okay, and the next is n types of soldiers in total. So n types of soldiers in total. Okay. and okay so players call of soldiers 3 are numbered from 1 to m plus 1 type of soldiers are numbered from 0 to n minus 1 okay so the number of soldiers are num numbered from 1 to m plus 1 and the type of soldiers are numbered from 0 to n minus 1 so let me just use the mouse pad 1 to m plus 1 sorry for the bad writing and 0 to n minus 1 okay so each player has an army army of the ith play, player can be described by a non-negative integer xi so army of the ith player can be described by a non-negative integer xi Consider binary representation of xi. If the jth bit of number xi equal to 1, then the army of the ith player has soldier of the jth type. Okay. So if the binary representation of xi and if the jth bit of the number xi equal to 1, then the army of the ith player has soldier of the jth type. Okay. Cool. So Fedor is the m plus 1th player of the game. He assumes that two player can become friends if their armies differ in at most k types okay, of soldiers. In other words, binary representation of the corresponding numbers differ in at most k bits. So it is very clearly stated at most k bits. So help Fedor, uh, count, help Fedor and count how many players can become his friend. So as we know that the Fedor is the m plus 1th player of the game game so let's talk about the input so input contain n the total number of uh, types of players soldiers and m is the total number of soldiers sorry total number are m plus one but yes including uh, excluding fedor there are m soldiers and k is the uh, count at most k bits so if they differ in the binary representation with at most k types then they are friends so let's uh, talk about uh, the input test case Just quickly copy it so the input is n and m and k so this is m this is n and this is k okay so the lines contain single integer xi the ith players rb so there are n plus 1 lines and that is k plus 1 fedor okay it's not k plus 1 sorry n plus 1 so the first player rb is represented by 8 which can be written in binary as 1 0 0 so 1 2 4 and 8 okay now the 5 binary representation can be represented as 1 0 1 0 okay and triple 1 binary representation is a long binary representation I am not going to write here but yes it is a very long representation so i am not gonna write that 
so that is one two four eight and now it goes for sixteen one zero 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 and one so one and two four eight sixteen so that is the binary representation of seventeen so now it says that if uh, the two players can become friends if their binary representation differ at most by k bits so 17 and 8 representation differ by at most uh, 0 and 2 bits at, and the k value is 1 so they cannot become friend I think yes that is cool why they cannot become friends let me just explain it again so 8 representation can be written as 0 1 0 0 0 and 17 representation can be written as 1 0 0 0 1 so differ they differ by at most this sorry oh they differ by at most and it is not they differ by at most this bit this bit and this bit 3 bits and the value of k is 1 so 3 is greater than 1 that means they are not gonna become friends now similarly for the case of 5 they are also not gonna be friends and for the similarly for the case of 17 and 1 1 1 they are also not gonna be friends so the total number of Fedora friends are 0 I think that makes sense or well, let's move on to the next test case and um, let's just move to this okay so copied so this is m plus 1 Fedora and now let's talk about the binary representation so the one can be represented as 0 0 1 sorry for the bad night writing it's been a long day since I haven't posted so 1 2 3 can be represented as 1 1 0 and 4 can be represented as 1 0 0 now this is Fedor and his potential friends can be uh, some can be calculated by obviously taking the uh, different bits and here the value of k equals to 3 now let's talk about at most k bits so therefore they can be less than equal to k as it says or at most so 4 and 1 can become friends 1 2 yes they can become friends so 1 friend now Fedora has 4 and 2 can become friends 1 2 yes can become friends 4 and 3 can become friends yes they can become friends so total number of friends Fedora has is 3 now let's say the answer yes so I think uh, the test cases makes you clear what the problem is saying now let's just dive into coding problem number 467b guys I am adding this question to the repository you can check it out if you need any now ok let's take the input now <coughs> what it says n and m and k now ok so the n is 
type of soldier Think and and then make sense. Okay. Now number of soldiers and K. The value with red words in. Okay, so now as there are one, two, k plus n plus one soldiers, so I will make an array of long soldiers equals to new long, and its length will be n plus one. Now I will take that as an input. Zero to n. Okay, and soldiers i equals to sc dot next twenty. Now I think I have inputted all the n here. As you can see, now what I have to do here is that I have to compare. So I have to take the binary representation of Okay. Okay. Now I have to just loop around and check for the door frame. I will initialize the counter equals to zero. Number of friends of the door. Okay. Now. What I will do here is that I will compute the XOR of these two numbers. Okay, so I will tell you why I have computed the XOR here. And so XI. And sorry, X soldiers I and soldiers M and M is the fedor the food. Now I will count one and result if it is less than equal to K, then count plus plus. Okay. Now you have to just print count. Now I have to write a function. I will start it. Write count. Sorry. Let's skip count one as integer. We take long r. Type long n. Now int c equals to zero. File n. It's not equal to zero. N equals to n and n minus one. C plus plus, and we will write C. I will tell you the whole procedure I am gonna write, but I am writing. If you cannot understand, but let's just. I think I have coded the whole solution. Now. Let's just run it and check whether the problem compiles and we are okay with the solution or not. It's been a long day. So it's taking time to build, so that tells me that I should post daily. Okay, so zero potential friends. Now let's run for another. Okay, that is too taking too much time. Don't know why. 
three potential friends. So I think yes, I have done. I am done with the solution. So I will submit it once I explain it to you. So let's go it line by line. So n is the number of soldiers. M is the sorry. N is the type of the soldiers. M is the number of soldiers. And k is the value of for which x can be Fedor's friend. So you know exactly soldiers um, are of m plus one are like m plus one are the total number of soldiers. And here I inputted the total value for x i, which tells me the each and every one's player army. So I think every player it contains the army of every player. Every player. Now, as the question says that two player can become friends if their armies differ in at most k types. In other words, binary representation of the corresponding number differs in at most k bits. So that makes sense. Now I have initialized the counter for number of friends of Fedor equals to zero. Now why I have done here uh, XOR operation. So as you can see the XOR operation is very easy. If you like uh, just a second if you take two numbers two and three it will give you the different number of digits. So let's zero one zero and one one. So this is zero and one. So the output of x or operation between 2 and 3. So the XOR table can be read as if there are same number of uh, bits then it is 0 and if there are different bits then it is set to 1. So what it says that you have to find the corresponding numbers differ in at most k bits. So what I did here is that I found the number of different bits here in the result and then I counted the 1 in the different bits as it says as the XOR table says that if your uh, bits are different then the value is set to 1 and if your bits are same then the value is set, is set to 0 so uh, that's why I count I did count for 1 so it's a program and what I did here count of 1 so you can easily search for how to count to 1 like you can run a for loop or you can use some algorithm like this where I have just used a simple loop of n equal to 0 and I have just used the AND operation here and you can just easily do that. So that is just basically an algorithm you can read, find it anywhere. So that's okay. I think I had made sense till here. Now just submit the solution and let's see what happens and if nothing happens I will still post. Okay, running on test two. Okay, running on test three. And that makes your art kill till now. That beats fast. Accepted. So yes, guys. Um, we did the problem number 467b one more announcement is that we have got a new link for our channel slash uh, youtube.com slash c slash nishrastav and you can easily just find me out on youtube so i will upload this video in a while so thank you guys thank you for watching stay updated stay tuned bye bye